All right, so today we are going to be talking about secure DNS, more specifically DOH versus DOT. And if you don't know what that means, I got your back here. So DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS. Now, there are some similarities and a few differences between the two. Now, they are both end-to-end -end encrypted. They both provide secure connections between hosts, and they both utilize DNSSEC for domain authentication. The caveats between the two, the differences, better yet, are in the method of communication and the ports of transmission. So, specifically with DNS over HTTPS, we have our client and our resolver, and we essentially send our transmission, which is our HTTPS encrypted DNS request, and it responds back with the DNS HTTPS response. Now, if you send a POST or a GET request, you can still achieve the same goal. However, the setup is a little bit different. With the POST request, the body contains the DNS query. With the GET request, you actually have it embedded into the URL as a parameter. For example, you have your query URL and basically a value DNS equals our query string. The transmission of information, normally it occurs with a structured data query, in this example, JSON. The one caveat with this is you have to have your individual devices supporting this type of encrypted DNS, which is kind of a vendor-specific or device-specific software issue that comes into play. Now, the difference with DNS over TLS is essentially you have a TLS connection that's established first, and then you pass your transmission. So more specifically, port 853 is utilized instead of port 443. Now, these two both have official established RFCs. This one is 8484, which was established in 2006. This one is 7858, which was established more recently in 2019. Now, looking at TLS more specifically, it's, it's pretty simple how it falls into place. You have your client and your resolver, and the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to establish and verify that you have a TLS connection. That's essentially stage one. So you transmit over 853 or fallback port of 53, and you say, hey, resolver, I want to create a TLS connection. It responds back with either a fail or it gives you a fallback, depending on if it's a strict or opportunistic resolver. Now, in this case, if you successfully establish your TLS connection, then you are going ahead and send your DNS request to the resolver, and the resolver will process that and send back the response. Pretty straightforward, and that is going to be the gist of your secure DNS. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you learned something. I will see you guys next time.